So, here we are in the rebel controlled sector. Let's see what the rebels are up to. All right, nebula locations. Hmm. Do I want them? Do I want them all? Okay, but first one jump that doesn't go into a nebula uh, and it's an asteroid But now we are packing two levels of shields, so it shouldn't be that hard and it's an automated ship. God damn it So how do we do? Uh, I wish I had upgraded my weapon system already then I could get through here without the bomb but Now we need the bomb to get through Actually, would someone here please reinforce the shields? Thank you, Eagle, you're doing that. Alright, Smart Bomb is ready and I hope it hits. Yes! And now... Heavy laser time! Yay! And the, the weapons are already gone. Lovely! Lovely! Hey, the asteroids, please let, let something for me still. That would be awesome. Thank you. I mean, if he now... I mean, every asteroid is going to hit. Every asteroid is going to hit now. <laughs> okay. That was quick. 13 scraps, a missile and a drone part. I'll take it. <clears throat> okay, everybody back to your stations. And we are firing up the small bomb again. We cannot improve our ship yet, so we have to wait with that. All right. Into the nebula. Let's see what's in there. Ah! Nine storm. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm despite the harsh conditions. A rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. I hope they won't get away. Right, you stay here and fight, right? You are a good guy. Yes. Uh, uh, what? A chain laser? You are still able to bring a chain laser up? Well, we still have our boarding crew. That's something. So, no small bomb for us. Let's see, no oxygen. Who needs oxygen anyway? And let's get two levels of shields up. Yay, that's how we do. So, let's teleport over and get the pilot. Yay! Oh, they're actually teleporting back? Uh, Leaper, that's your job. That's why you're here, Leaper. Alright, where are they? They are indoors. Can we get there before they destroy it? Yes, Sleeper, you are the fastest of the rocks. Whatever that means. <clears throat> Shields level 2 says Juan Valdez, there you go. We are of one mind, it appears. Alright, let's go and deal with the weapons. There's still one crew member alive on our ship, right? So, they teleported back. There you are. And that's that. Actually, I could have trained on this a little bit. Ah, oh, but the oxygen is running out. Well, 22 scraps, it's too late now. 22 scraps, one drone part, and mi two missiles. Take it, put some energy into med bay and oxygen. Wonderful. Leaper, you did a great job defending this ship. And for that, you will receive a heal. Leap into action, Leaper. <laughs> That's who I'm <coughs> Leaper Creeper is the bouncer on the ship, so there you go. Mm -hmm. they just want de Jordy dead or alive, no matter the costs. <laughs> Hovinal says, makes you wonder how the rebels are winning if they keep sending unshielded drones into asteroid fields. Well, it appears, it turns out they are actually masters at evasion. But once I come along, they are so frightened, they forget about their skills. That's what's happening. All right, so close all doors, take the energy off this, and let's get out. Get out of here, 66 scraps, 67 scraps. We can actually put this. The Einstorm doesn't count as a hazard, it appears. We can put this into our ship. Let's get second level of weapons and the energy for that. Wonderful, cool. Oh, a distress signal. Yes, I want to go to the distress, but then I can't go back into the nebula. Well, not all nebula locations. That's actually for the better, I feel. So on to the distress. On to the distress.
Okay, I'm trying to decipher chat here right now. When I typed an Ö. And Spheres asked minus O with an umlaut. Should should be named Angel, Willow, or Spike, or even Drusilla? Why are you guys... What? What is this with this Buffy theme here? It's even in chat. We should all write like this. <laughs> There's no business. Maybe umlauts make things cooler. They definitely do. They definitely do. Names look very uh, cooler. Very much... Much more cooler? Yeah. Much cooler. Anyway, give them fuel, of course! I only have seven. Have my four. What am I getting? Thank you! We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Bro! I mean, we are relatively early still in this sector, but still. That was four fuel. That was more than half of my fuel that I have. I'm in the red now. And this is how you repay me? Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so. <coughs> This will be fun, guys. Free fuel. <laughs> what are we talking about? That's <laughs> I'm done. You guys are having fun. That's nice. All right. There's a store. Only one store in this sector. God damn it. What's this? An asteroid field. Okay. I feel like we have to beeline to the store to get some fuel. Ugh. And some repairs as well. So we have to move through the asteroid. What's this? Uh, a sun? Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. We, we are not missing out on a lot of fights down here, so we could just be beeline to here and then take all fights if we can somehow. Like down here and then... Oh, that's not connected. Mm, let me... Check out an optimal route with the store in three jumps. So we have to take this here, right? Then down here, and then here, and then here, and here, and here, and here. Yeah. That might still be too early. We are not going through the sun. No way. Okay. <coughs> Onto the store, guys. Onto the store. Yes! Sell three drone parts for 12 scraps! I'm doing it. On to the asteroid field. Uh, you arrive at an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been staged here. Prepare for fights! Uh, they have a drone and iron that actually has potential to break through. Uh, we will make sure we are breaking through these shields. With the help of the asteroids. Pretty quick. <gasps> oh. Shields! 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 Quick! Give me shields! Okay, at least that iron weapon is gone. But my... Oh no! My shields got ionized! Whoa! That was close! Oh, an asteroid hit us in, in med bay! Get that pesky combat drone off my back. Yeah, that's that's better. That's better. Oh, we have fire in med bay. Fire in med bay! We could send a leaper over there. But I feel like we we need them. Well, let's not do that. So let's make it easier for the asteroids to work in our favor. Ah, oh, two heavy lasers. So great. So great. Damn! Is it still burning? Come on! I have that. I filled it with this wonderful space air. 18 scraps, a drone part, and missiles. Nice. Dirty sounds kind of strange, though. Says Ben Wild. <laughs> Asteroid field. Guys, are we here in kindergarten or what's going on? All right. Kindergarten. Anyway, let's repair on that day. Ben Wild. Eh, asteroid field is best asteroid field. <laughs> oh. Alright. Med Bay repaired. 
No one needs to heal though. And we have one fuel left guys. We are waiting for the oxygen to get back to 100 and then we are jumping on. Hello Uncle Elias, how's it going? Thank you for joining us. Uh, that what you typed earlier Uncle Elias, what's that? Names? Names. So I'm gonna say sorry Jody, we kinda got carried away. <laughs> Okay, 100% oxygen, let's jump on. Close the doors. We need fuel, is what we need. Actually, just a bit doesn't even, just a bit. You don't even realize that there is an umlaut. Okay, you discover over yeah, yeah. Store. Ah, uh, Halbeam again, my goodness, and Hal missiles. Jason Bowie and Justin. What do we have on? Scrap recovery arm! Hmm. Okay, we have nothing to sell though, and we need to buy fuel, so forget it, forget it. Here's our fuel, which will, you know, bring us just so a few jumps farther along. I don't, I am, I'm very concerned about my fuel situation right now. And we need to repair, so let's do that. Actually, since it's so cheap, let's repair almost full. There you go. So have I decided on an um, optimal route yet? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we do. <coughs> Hello, Lilo! Thank you for joining us. What's this? Vo... Vo... Vo hi yo. <laughs> okay. Looks cool. Uh, attack the automated ship! Yes, with two heavy lasers and no shields. I mean, they have clo uh, cloaking, but I don't care. I have two levels of shields. That should be fine. We are not going to in, uh, in, in tune, so you can man shields if you want to. Oh, is this is this heavy laser too? What the hell is going on? Yay! Nice hits there. Oh, I love my heavy lasers. Heavy lasers are awesome. Especially when they hit. Okay, they have one health left. Why don't we send crew over and destroy a system? Well, I have a reason why. Alright, so 12 script, uh, scraps and investigate the station. Possible double reward, guys. Yay, we got breach missiles. And 9 scraps. Well, free stuff. But no fuel, guys. No fuel. That's the real concern here. My goodness, look at that. Does 4 normal damage. Fire Breach and Stun Chance I like, but taking 3 power and 22 seconds to recharge, it's a big no-no. I know it's a big weapon and it should support the going tall in the weapon slots strategy, but I'd rather have a big laser weapon than this. Alright, this is like uh, um, Star Trek, Star Trek 3. On the quest for fuel? Alright. <laughs> ben Rad says, more free weapons! But Jordi's reaction was like, yeah, lame. <laughs> <coughs> yes, uh, that's that's the that's the plan then. Okay, this beacon is being patrolled by an unmanned scout. A fight is unavoidable again! An auto scout, but hey, look at this. I have two heavy lasers. It's not that bad. But they have iron and beam. A potentially uh, devastating combination. Bam! I wonder why not both projectiles go into the shields. Why they arrive at different times at the enemy. Oh, because the. Uh, maybe they are on different uh, spots on my ship. So they have different passes they have to take. Maybe. I love my heavy lasers. Have, uh, I'm not sure if I uh, said that uh, during the past five seconds. Now this is what's going on? Is it switching for anyone else or is it just me? Well, it, it appears it's just you, unfortunately. I hope it's getting better for you soon. 
Well, Vinan says it's okay, Jordi. I'm sure you have made your fuel calculations correctly before giving away any. <laughs> I mean, look at this! What are you guys talking about? I'm not in the red anymore when it comes to fuel. Now, 19 scraps, a, a missile, and two fuel. There you go. I knew that. I knew that. So, four fuel, that's more than enough to. I don't know. Maybe reach the exit. <laughs> if we are good. Okay. Okay. Actually, no other store in this, in this sector. So, if we don't find a, another store soon in the next sector. We will be stranded there. Intervene to defend the outposts! Yes! Let's defend outposts. I could teleport over, but there is uh, Mete in there, so... We will take that, care of that, with my heavy lasers, obviously. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, uh, um, um, uh, Leaper! Hold the fort! Deal with this! Monstrosity! Okay, Matt Bane down. Teleport over. Okay, you're holding yourself, your own here, Leaper. But uh, there is uh, um, space air coming in, so I'm not sure if you can handle this on your own. You get a little support here by my heavy lasers. And battle experience on our mentises. Nice. Oh, there is another one coming in. Humanitis. Okay. We shall keep an eye on this. A very close eye on this. Ah, we don't even need to switch. Nice. 20 scraps. A missile and a fuel. What can you say? I know that, you know, there is enough fuel out there. We just have to grab it. Oh, double reward for fuel. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's fine, guys. The tank is more than full. The outpost hails you. The pompous bastards inspected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for your help. For fuel. And 15 scraps. Excellent. Get my crew back. Oh, we have to power the teleporter for this. Obviously. Obviously. So we still have a, um, a guy in here, right? Yeah, I want some battle experience on uh, on Leaper, if we get them, actually, if we get battle experience for this. Oh, they are gone. Alright, let's repair it then, as quick as possible. So these two need a heal again. Man, it's so far, it's always so far, Leaper, right, to go to Mete. One day it will be too far. Breach no guys, says Uncle Ice. There you go, you knew it uh, before before the fact. Well done, Uncle. Hamdad says, Jolly, are you related to the devil? You have this as luck. This is not luck, guys. It's just balancing itself out. That's what it is. It's the laws, the law of great numbers. <clears throat> okay, so we can make this jump, but then we can't make this jump. And we will be stuck here. So we have to go here and arrive at the exit early. Or we jump through the sun, which we established earlier, we won't, so. A rebel ship has been patrolling his region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault. Uh, no mete. That's very clever of you guys. What's coming in? Hacking is coming in. Well, I don't care. Teleport over. Call some fuzz. Oh no! We are hacked in net in, in in the teleporter. Bo! Okay, they have one laser and the beam. This can't hurt us, right? Yeah, this can't hurt us. This might be a training ship, but it's not good enough. It's just one laser, so it would take ages to train on this. Let's have a look. Obinal is at 11, and Leaper is at 9. Ah, oh, this will take forever. Take forever. Especially at only 20% evasion. Alright, let's break out of here and heal up. In the meantime, we could start firing one heavy laser to, you know, get some experience on Ben when it as far as um, weapons go. Meh. 
I mean, that's one experience every nine seconds with the heavy laser. It's pretty good. Ben Wilde uh, quotes me and says, One day it will be too far. Jordi, mark the spurts as you put him in danger just by saying that. I'm not putting him in danger, it's it's Leaper, G Leaper Creeper. He's just un unbreakable. He's, he's Pebble. He's Pebble. You're making some coffee spurious, alright. Uh, and you, you, hopefully now you get some food. You can do that, guys. I, I won't stay here for too long, though. Maybe until... Maybe until uh, Ovinal gets... Oh, Ovinal actually is level 1 pilot now. Congratulations. Although I don't think that amounts to much, because uh, we are going to pull you off piloting as soon as we can to reinforce our boarding. <coughs> Let's see, Ben is at... 41. Yeah, that'll take forever. Leaper? Oh, Leaper only needs two more evasion evades. Alright, okay. So we wait for these two evasions and then we will, you know, destroy them with our heavy lasers. Juan says the law of great numbers dictates that Jordi will always get a free Vulcan and the Hull drone. Unfortunately, uh, this is the law of very, very, very great numbers. So... It balances out over a very huge uh, sample set, unfortunately. One more evade, and we are golden. One more dodge. <laughs> There you go, Leaper, congratulations, you are a level 1 engineer. Awesome. Alright, so let's do this. Stop the auto-firing of the heavy laser. Thank you. And where, where do we want to go first? The shields, of course, because they are in the way. There you go. Next is piloting. Hello, Stephanie! Thank you for joining us this week. Welcome to... Uh, the Wednesday's fix of FTL. Bam! Oh, here comes an offer, but it's not good enough, guys. Okay, and that pesky hacking is off our teleporter, finally. Man, that was a surprise. I mean, hey, I'm teleporting over. I'm crushing the enemy crew. And then they hack piloting and teleport us back. Nice. Juan says, why not boarding? Just blast the hacking. Well, yeah. Okay, I didn't see that one, but it's fine. 13 scraps is okay. And the fuel, guys. A fuel. That is the most important part here. We are back to 8 fuel. That's pretty pretty reassuring, I have to say. Also, I haven't checked um, my ship in a, for a while. In a while. <coughs> 89 scraps. Hmm. What do we want to do with 89 scraps? I kind of want to improve evasion. I want to improve my teleporter and my map bay. Actually, uh, we have a few nebulas in front of us, so improving map bay isn't that uh, out of the question here, actually. Yeah, Stephanie, there is great interest in your well-being here in the chat. How, how is it going, Stephanie? Let us know. How are things? Alright, let's jump on. Yeah, we have to go to the exit. I'm not going jumping into the sun. Nope, 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 and triple nope. Let's just go to the exit. Ooh, look at this! <laughs> free stuff! I mean, okay, it's free stuff, but it's pretty shitty free stuff. I mean, where are the burst lasers? And where, where are the Vulcans? Where are the, the, the Hobbit beams? Come on, game, you can do better? Uh, okay, I, I'll take it, I'll take it. I need something to, uh, uh, um, you know, I need a shield handler, that's what I need. The breach might fill in in that role, but... Eh. Because if I had a, um, a reliable shield handler, I could um, operate that shield handler together with the heavy lasers. And then two heavy lasers will hit all the time. Wow. Until sector 5 or 6. Seven says, good, good. How are things for you? Well, uh, I um, attended an experiment uh, at the university uh, in the department of 
economy or something like that. I hope I, I, I'm translating things here right. And they were, you know, they, they made you um, take part in an auction against two computers, uh, two computer AIs. And uh, yeah, they, they gave you, um, they made you bid on an object uh, 30 times in a row. That's always, it was always the same experiment 30 times in a row. And there were two objects, so you could get object A or object B, or you can could get a bundle of both objects, A, B. And uh, they had the rules that if you just, you want object B or the bundle A, B, because B was part of A, B, right? So you were only interested in object B. And it, they made the rules that um, if, you, if you bid on object B, they will add your bid on B and the bid on the first computer AI, that, which always bids on a, so they sum A and B up and compare that to the highest bit on the bundle. And if that is higher, then you get your B and uh, the computer gets A, right? Or if you don't bid on B, you can also bid on A, B, and there you al always need straight up the highest, uh, the highest bit. The caveat to that is that uh, the uh, the first AI can only bid from 0 to 100, the one that bids on A, that gets summed up with you if you bid on B, they can only go to 100, same for you, and no, actually that's not true, but, uh, only 100, and the second AI that always bids on AB uh, can go to 200, so you had to figure that out. And for you, you can actually bid all amounts of, uh, of uh, yeah. Of, fi uh, of figurative, figurative money, of imagined number money, right? The thing is though, that every turn you get, <clears throat> uh, you get a value that tells you how much worth, uh, yeah, a value of how much worth, uh, how much that object B is worth to you, right? Like, in, in round one, you get uh, the value of 50. It's worth 50. Right? And if you bid, bid more than the 50, which you actually can do, then you get the object. But um, the difference between what you, what, you've, what you bid and what it is worth will actually be subtracted from the amount that you get in real money after the experiment. Because you got real money after the experiment. That was the reward for participating. What am I talking here about here like five minutes? Are you guys actually still interested in this? It was really cool, it was really cool. I, I don't actually know why they actually did this, because... What, what, what is the benefit of uh, doing this experiment with like, I don't know, 30 students or something? To go through 30 times this experiment. Is it like... Um, I mean, the, uh, um, the parameters, par parameters of this experiment told us that the um, bits of the computer AIs were totally random in between, um, you know, their minimum and maximums. But I could, I could see that if they, were, if they manipulated the AI's bits so that you actually experience defeat or, you know, being outbid by the uh, AI at first, if that would actually change your strategy or if you would stick to your uh, initial strategy you know that that might be a reason to actually have this experiment as a whole but I, I they don't tell you why they do this they just make you follow the rules follow the rules and uh, yeah at the end if you did well you got uh, you got a reward or or not <laughs> Stephanie real money dollar dollars what made me actually uh, tell you all this? I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, Stephanie asking how how I think. Yeah, that's that was uh, one thing that I, uh, you know, found interesting in my life. Uh, Stephanie says risk behavior versus conservative. There you go. In so short, in so few words, you you know laid it all all out before us, and I was rambling on, rambling, rambling, rambling. Ah, Stephanie. All right.